So we had done a study looking at the combination of abemocyclib with pembrolizumab in patients who have metastatic hormone receptor positive disease. The rationale for this was really based on some preclinical work that suggested that CDK4-6 inhibition uh, can potentially augment the re immune response, uh, potentially by downregulating T regulatory cells and increasing antigen presentation. And so this trial was really trying to build on prior work that we had done within the Monarch 1 trial. That trial had looked at abemocyclob alone in patients with metastatic hormone receptor positive disease that had previously received chemotherapy. And now this was looking at a very similar population of patients but giving the combination of therapy. And so here we reported data from the 24 week time point of follow up and that response rate was about 28%. So giving the combination of abemocyclob and pembrolizumab in patients who'd had up to two prior lines of chemotherapy in the metastatic setting was associated with almost a 30% response rate. If you look at the abemocyclob monotherapy trial, so the Monarch 1 study, and you looked at that same time point, at that time point, the response rate to abemocyclob alone was only 10%. Um, and so it seems like there's a signal for enhancing activity of abemocyclob with the addition of pembrolizumab, which I think is pretty exciting because to date we really haven't seen much benefit for pembrolizumab alone, particularly in hormone receptor positive disease where there's been some notion that these tumors may be less immunogenic. And so I think it's exciting to see there may be a signal for activity.